Hi everyone and welcome to this advanced higher chemistry video. Today we are going to talk about a new and accurate way of measuring masses called weighing by difference. So you'll all have already used balances for experiments in the past but we are now at a stage where accuracy in our measurements is very important and this experimental technique allows us to ensure that we know exactly how much of our reactant masses we add into our reactions. This is very important for the experiments that are in the advanced higher course and will also be very useful for your projects as it will allow you to have robust and accurate measurements. For this particular demonstration, uh, I will be accurately approximately 3.2 grams of hydrated oxalic acid. But before I go any further, what on earth do I mean by accurately approximately? It sounds like a total contradiction. How can I be accurate and approximate all at the same time? Simply put, to weigh accurately approximately means that I want to use around 3.2 grams. So that would be the approximate part. But I need to make sure that I actually take a note of the exact quantity that I use in my measurement. And that makes sure that I am being completely accurate. For instance, if I want to use 3.2 grams, I might end up using 3.21 grams or I might end up using 3.19 grams. Both of those are approximately 3.2, but as long as I write down the exact value, then I can do accurate calculations using those values. So first things first, I am going to take the measurement of the mass of just the weigh boat by itself. So this little white plastic thing is a weigh boat. I put it on the balance and make sure the balance is teared and we'll measure out the oxalic acid in just a, a second. So when I say that I want to make sure the balance is teared, I'm going to make sure that the balance reading is at zero before I put this plastic weigh boat on. And then I'm going to take a note of the weigh boat's mass. So you could tear the balance after you put the weigh boat on and then it would be at zero when the weigh boat is there and you would have the mass of oxalic acid. But in between this measurement and another measurement we need to take in a wee second, maybe someone's going to go and use your balance, maybe they go and hit the tear button, then you don't have that mass of your weigh boat. So it's quite important that you do it this way round if you think that someone could potentially be using the balance that you're on. Um, and then you know it doesn't matter if they do because you know exactly how much that weigh boat actually weighs. So looking at this, just weighing the weigh boat, it comes in at 1.08 grams. Now, you want to give the balance a little second just to make sure that it's settled. And if you're leaning on the worktop sometimes, sometimes it'll affect the reading, just a wee bit of pressure next to it. And there you can see it's just changed just as I went to write down uh, 1.08. So it's gone back down again, comes back up. We'll just wait for a second, but it does seem to be staying now at 1.09 grams. So that is the mass I'm going to put down of my empty weigh boat. Now, if I want to get to 3.2 grams of my hydrated oxalic acid, then 3.2 plus 1.09 is going to take me to 4.29 grams. That would be the quantity that I'm aiming for when I weigh this out. So I'll add a few spatula fills and you can see that after adding just a few, I've gone a little bit too far. So now I'm going to have to take out a little bit at a time until I reach approximately the value that I want. And you can see I'm very close here at 4.30 and that's close enough for me. So I know that that's going to be approximately 3.2 grams. So if I take the weight of the weigh boat plus the oxalic acid and I subtract the empty weigh boat at the beginning, you'll see that I have transferred 3.21 grams of the hydrated oxalic acid into the weigh boat itself. Now that is close enough, but I am not done. There's one fundamental difference here. I am going to transfer the oxalic acid into an empty beaker and I am not going to rinse the weigh boat. In the past, you've perhaps used a squishy bottle of deionized water and you've rinsed to try and make sure you have complete transfer of all of the crystals. But it's quite important here, there are still some tiny crystals of oxalic acid on the weigh boat now that I've tipped it in, but if I rinse that, I'm not going to know for certain that I have transferred every last drop of oxalic acid into my beaker. So I want to make sure that I'm being 100% accurate with the quantity that has actually been transferred. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this weigh boat back onto the balance and take a new reading. So if I take a new reading, I'll be able to see if there's anything left over. So if I take the mass of the weigh boat 
with the oxalic acid in it, which was at, what, 4.30 grams. And if I subtract the mass of the weigh boat at the end, then I end up with 3.20 grams exactly. I basically had 0 0.01 grams of oxalic acid left on the weigh boat. But I know that from the 3.21 grams I weighed, 3.20 has actually been transferred into my beaker. And that's it. That is the the way that we would accurately, approximately measure a mass in advanced higher chemistry. So anytime you're looking at reactant masses now, we need to be this accurate. We need to have an idea of what my weigh boat actually weighs, what it is, including the substance I'm weighing, and then have a way to measure how much has been left behind. Accurately, approximately is a term that you really need to get used to and get used to seeing and using throughout advanced higher. And this is a technique that comes in in quite a few experiments as you go through advanced higher chemistry. Now, if you want to know what I'm going to do with this oxalic acid, then I suggest you tune into my next video, which is going to look at making a standard solution. Now, again, we've been looking at standard solutions all through from National 5 to higher. There's a little bit more theory about the standard solution, about primary standards and things. So in order to see that, tune into my next video and I will see you in the next one.